we're asked to find the derivative of y with respect to x of this function. So when you try to take a derivative of this term with respect to x, we have to use implicit differentiation in the chain rule. Okay, so the 3 is a power. You can use the power rule like usual. 3 comes down and multiplies and it gets reduced by 1. Now, but now what's the derivative of y with respect to x though? That's not something that's implicitly uh, sorry, that no, wrong word. That's not the that's not something that's explicitly defined. We don't have y equal something. We have y to the third equal something. So we don't know what the derivative of this term is in here. So by the chain rule, we have to multiply this by y prime. Okay, so the not so good way of thinking of implicit differentiation is that if you're ever taking a derivative of y, you've got to have a y prime term come out of it. Okay, but that's again, <laughs> math teachers are slapping their heads as I say that. Okay, <clears throat> so that's really the only tricky part. This is nothing new over here. This is the derivative with respect to x, so we need the quotient rule. So the quotient rule says you take a derivative of the numerator times the denominator kept the same. Subtracted by the numerator kept the same times the derivative of the denominator. And that's all over the denominator squared. And so now we're, the whole goal is to find dy dx, so we're looking to solve for y prime. So we're eventually going to divide this 3y squared from both sides to get y prime by itself. But I'm just going to clean up the numerator. That's 2 minus 2x here. Just distributed. Uh, and then we get just, that's a negative 1 times everything, so that's a negative 2x minus 3, so that's going to now be a positive 2x plus 3 because a negative and a negative make a positive. And then minus 2x plus 2x, those cancel out. 2 plus 3, uh, I think that's 5. But I'm not sure. Okay, and then I'm trying to get y prime by itself. That's the goal because y prime is shorthand notation for dy dx in this case. So I want to divide both sides by 3y squared. So if I'm dividing by 3y squared from both sides, I'll cancel out here, and you could say divide 3y squared, but an easier way of saying that would just be to put 3y squared in the denominator. So here's my answer, 5, and I don't care which one comes first. I'll put the 3y squared term first, but the order doesn't multiply when you matter, right? So this is our derivative. Got to get y prime by itself to finish solving uh, for dy dx.